Rosamond, traffic arrow 3 now, tell final for 2-6, Rosamond. First, let's make a note that even though that hill on the right looks far away in person, it looks much closer. But if you stay south of the road below, you'll be more than okay. Located in the Antelope Valley area of the Southern California High Desert, the same desert that is shared with airports like Mojave and Edwards Air Force Base, Rosamont is a privately owned airport, but they graciously make it open for public use. There are homes that surround the airport, including non-aviation homes. So being a good guest and following the noise abatement procedure is definitely a good idea. The airport has one runway, 3,600 by 50 feet. But one thing you always have to take into consideration, especially in the summer, is the airport elevation at 2,415 feet which in the middle of summer can raise that density altitude to 5,000 to 6,000 feet. And that's before we even talking about the winds, which are straight crosswind at only five knots, but gusts were up to 15. And we felt that and the thermals as we flew over the asphalt from the streets below the entire way. The airport was designed by an aerospace engineer, Sam Ramsey, who thought it would be nice to live in the desert but commute to Los Angeles by air. This guy understood how to commute. Full disclosure, I took the entire runway because I needed a breather after that approach. Now, as we come to the end of the runway, you might notice on the right, there's a little insert. That is the run up area. So you have to cross to the north side to access this area before departure. And yes, these inserts exist on both ends of the runway. And as we exit the runway, you'll be greeted with a sign that reminds you no run ups on this side. Now, even though there's not a dedicated weather advisory frequency, if you click the CTAF four times, you can still get it. And if you just want the winds, just click it three times. My navigator wife is in charge of the radios, so she checked on nearly every leg just to get an idea of how much winds were changing. Luckily, they were pretty consistent. Unlucky, they were pretty much a direct crosswind of about five knots gusting 15. And with a relatively narrow runway of 50 feet, you better believe my hand was on that throttle ready to go around from a last minute gust. I learned my lesson at Palm Springs. According to the airport website, which we will link in the description below, the only transportation which is available 24 seven is a Rosemont taxi. They also said that if you want to rent, Enterprise might, and they do say might, pick you up. They do have a fuel island which is located next to the FBO on the right. The FBO was closed when we visited this day so we didn't get a chance to go inside. Transient parking is also on the right and they do have tie down chains. Again, I'm still a proponent of bringing your own straps. You never know when those tie down ends are so bent you can't get them around your plane's tie down loops. We didn't park here because as we'll see shortly, the restaurant has its own dedicated aircraft parking. So now that we got a little time until we get to the restaurant, I just want to make a quick public service announcement about flying to the desert. Now, this day was only 90 degrees, which to some can be really hot, just kind of depends where you come from in the country. But 90 degrees, whether it's hot for you or not, is hot enough to get you to be dehydrated. That sun will beam down on you. So make sure you have water, bring a hat, wear sunscreen, 
because you never know if you have an emergency how long it'll take someone to get to you. I'm not gonna pretend I'm the one that prepares us. I'm the pilot that's just like, let's go fly. And then my wife is the one that says, yeah, let's go fly, but let's do it safely. So God knows how much I appreciate her. So yeah, we want you to fly safe and prepared. And don't forget, you can even get dehydrated while flying. It gets pretty hot out there. Besides wanting to visit a new airport, we had heard good things about the on-site restaurant, Guido's, and they didn't disappoint. Pizza was delicious. Parking is enough for maybe three aircrafts and there are no tie-down chains, but I think the restaurant building blocked most of the wind, so it wasn't an issue. All right, so in summary, density altitude in the summer is a big factor to consider. Summers are really windy, sometimes direct crosswinds. No transportation available, rentals or taxi only. And don't forget, no run-ups on the south side. This was a great airport to visit and definitely tested my landing skills, but I recommend coming in the morning. We'd also love to hear your experience about landing here or maybe even living here. Thank you guys so much for watching and your feedback. It's been honestly like just amazing. And as always, we'll see you guys next week. And until then, don't forget, go fly, go discover.